next choose a framework to do this look at, at examples from each of your featured traditions ideally try to find a framework that has similar versions in each source it if the infrastructure is too different however another option is to use the framework of one tradition with the trappings of another for instance wicca has a very flexible ritual pattern that involves calling quarters casting a circle invoking higher powers performing the main body of the ritual and then releasing each part in reverse order in, into that you can put invocations and symbols for whichever deities your participants worship after that fill most of the framework with common motives this helps people feel comfortable then add a few divergence, divergences making sure to include something from each tradition look for the cool things that that include that outsiders rarely get to see and will remember fondly on the one hand you have motives that appear in many religions such as candles and singing on the other you have motives that appear in few religions or only one which means that people who don't belong to that tradition probably haven't seen it before examples of the latter include jumping the broom in pagan weddings and breaking the glass in jewish ones work in explanations and instructions into faith rituals need a lot more of this because people can't just follow a familiar path taken from a single religion and that and this helps them find the co the common ground once you have a rough draft review the complete outline of your interfaith ritual make sure you haven't left left out anything important if impossible seek feedback from other people for key events like a hand fasting or a funeral you need approval from the main celebrants otherwise if still it still helps to share the the outline to avoid the out, out, outline to avoid mishap missteps finally polish the ritual one last time make any requested charges and proofread the whole thing then it's ready to print out and distribute designing an effective ritual for interfaith audiences is challenging but possible these are learned skills and you will get better with practice it's best to start small you if you can and grow from there jumping right into the deep end can be quite daunting however most pagans will need to do an interfaith ritual at least once so it's a good set of skills to acquire look for opportunities in your area so you can try your hand at this you might be surprised by what you find elizabeth barrett has been involved with the pagan community for more than 29 years she served as managing editor of pangala for eight years and as dean of studies at the gray school of wizardry for four years she has written volumes on beginning and intermediate pagan practice pagan culture and pagan leadership her book composing magic 
how to create magical skills, rituals, blessings, chants, and prayers. Explains how to bring, how to combine writing, writing and spirituality. She lives in central Illinois, when, where she has done much networking with pagans in her area, such as coffee house meetings and open open sabbaths. Her her other public activities include pagan picnics and science fiction conventions. Visit her blog, The Wordsmith's Forge, HTTPS, you, 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 blah, 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 Smith Dream With, her coven site, which includes ex extensive pagan materials in Greenhaven tradition. Thank you for another reading. Blessed be.